it's time for another CNC Nuts Top Tip. Installing router bits. There has to be an easier way of doing it. Trying to set these small ones is a right real pain. You may have to make sure you've got enough sticking out to cut the material you want to get through, but you've still got enough going into the collet to hold it securely. Now, there's an easy way of setting those. What I've done is I've added a small O-ring to the very top of my router bit. I can now drop that into the collet and drop the collet into the collet nut and it will all stay together in one place. I can now get my piece of stock that I want to cut and I can check that there's enough router cutter sitting through there for me able to cut through this material without problem. It's now just a simple matter of tightening it to the router. Now what about the larger cutters like this? This is a quarter inch collet and you can't use the same trick with a quarter inch bit. The o-ring makes the cutter too big to push into the collet there. So there is still a way of using it. Simply put the o-ring on the cutter, push the cutter down until you've got the height you want there and now you can assemble it because the o-ring is actually too big to come out the hole in the collet nut or at least there's on mine. I can now tighten it up in place. The o-ring will be slightly crushed in here but it won't be a problem. And when I'm finished I can take it out and the o-ring will be as good as new. What about a V-cutter? It won't go through the collet nut and obviously I can't put the o-ring on the top. Well here's what we can do, we can put the collet nut on the cutter, we can now put the o-ring on the router bit, put the collet nut on top and screw it in place. We only nip it up slightly, we can also just adjust what height we want it to be at and then tighten it in place. And now the ones I really hate. In fact, I haven't used this in such a long time because they're absolute sods to use. It's a collet adapter. It adapts a quarter inch collet to either three mil or one eighth. But they're an absolute sod. They won't sit properly in the collet itself. You're fighting to get correct position on that. And then you're also fighting to get the correct position on the cutter. It will quite cheerfully fall out as well. So everything's falling apart on you. They're virtually impossible to use and not worth the hassle. But while researching this particular video, I've come up with a way of making this really easy. I'm going to take our little o-ring and slip it on to the collet adapter and we'll bring it down so that we've got just enough sticking out like so, probably about an eighth from the, from the bottom of it and now this does two things, first the cutter will actually slide into there and it will stick nice and firmly wherever you put it that's because this o-ring is closing up the gaps in the collet adapter so it doesn't fall out. The second thing it does is it allows us to put the collet on top and drop it into the collet nut because the o-ring stops it from falling through. I can now tighten up my collet and everything's set exactly where I want it. Now another possible way of using the o-ring is if you've got the o-ring on your cutter like this here you can simply use it as a stop if you push it in from underneath. Again you've got to use your three hands to do it 
but you can use it to set the height of the cutter. Now a little gem I learned on the weekend from Mark Lindsay was to always remove the router bit from the machine when you're finished. That's because during the machining process the collet gets hot and expands. When it cools down it can end up gripping the collet so tight even removing the nut will not allow the router bit to come out. So when you finish your machining for the day, take your router bits out before they end up frozen in the collet. Now I used two different sized O-rings for this. First is the 003. I use that on the 1 8 and 3 mm router bits. The second is the 007 O-ring. I use that on the quarter inch and 6 mm router bits. Now O-rings are very standard and you should have absolutely no problem finding them in the town or city where you live. I was able to purchase them from my local engineering supply for 20 cents each. If you can't find the one you're looking for, take your router bits down to your local engineering supplier and find the o-ring that best fits the cutter. You should have absolutely no problem at all finding them. If you've got a tip or trick you'd like to share, why not send it to the email address shown on the screen below. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Cheers! Flying is the art of throwing yourself at the ground and missing.